Hi there, this time I will show you how to create text titles behind moving objects without rotoscoping as we normally do. Here is a video of a man running on the beach. We'll add a running title to the scene as part of the background. Right click the clip and select New Fusion Clip from the context menu. Go to the Fusion page. Drag a text node from the toolbar to the node editor, merge it with the media in node. Enter running as the text title, change the color, size and tracking to your liking. Now we have a foreground running title, we need to bring the man to the front so that the title is showing underneath. Rotoscoping to isolate him from the background would be tedious and time consuming. Instead, we will create a black-white mat from the media input and use that as a traveling mat to mask the title. Add a color corrector node from the toolbar, branch out the media in node's output and connect to the color corrector. Enable dual viewer mode. Drag and bring the color corrector into the left viewer. With the color corrector node selected, go to the inspector. Reduce the saturation value to zero so that it is converted to a black and white image. In this demo, I'm getting a pretty good result by simply setting contrast to 3 and lift to minus 1. As the title is above the water, I don't have to worry too much about the black and grey areas in the lower part of the image. The goal here is to make the foreground object pure black and the background pure white, so that the text title will be masked out by the black area. You can play around with all these parameters to get the best result if needed. Take the output of the color corrector and connect it to the mask input of the text node, but nothing happens. Select the text node, go to the settings tab in the inspector. By default, the mask input is looking for the alpha channel. Since we are using the luminance channel, change the channel from alpha to luminance, and right away, we can see that the mask is working, the running title is now showing underneath as a background. This is great, in just a few minutes we created a title behind a moving object. This technique works best for footage with good contrast between background and foreground objects, but may not work with others. For example, this is the footage I used in a previous tutorial of planar tracking. In the Fusion page, I put a graffiti text on the wall using the corner pin mode of a planar tracker. But as we play the clip, at the moment when she is running through the corner, the text is floating up and breaking the illusion. So we did the lengthy rotoscoping process in that tutorial, masking the moving body and animate the mask shape frame by frame, and it worked, but it did take quite a bit of time. Today I will show a different way of isolating the body in the color page, and place above the fusion composition clip in the edit page, which produces the result we are looking for. Go to the edit page. Press and hold the alt key, drag the running two clip to the top, and make a copy of the running two clip. Move the playhead forward to the place where she is about to run across the graffiti, trim the clip beginning to the playhead. Continue moving the playhead forward until she passes the graffiti. Trim the ending to the playhead position. We will work on this clip to isolate her moving body from the background in the color page. Before going to the color page, right-click and select Reset Fusion Composition. Click Reset to confirm. We want only the original footage for this task. Go to the color page, make sure the correct clip is selected. In the node editor, right-click the main node and choose Add Node, Add Serial. Since we want to remove the background, we will need the alpha output. Right-click an empty spot in the node editor and choose an alpha output. Connect the key output of the new node to the alpha output. The area we are focusing is around the wall where we add the graffiti. In this case, we will use a power window to limit our working area. 
Open the power window palette and select the default rectangle window. Immediately we see the image with graffiti from the lower track, because of the alpha output, only the content inside the window is made solid, the rest are made transparent. Move the window over the graffiti area where she is running through and enable the highlight mode, which makes it easier to check the result we are going to do. Open the qualifier palette. In the viewer, using the qualifier tool, click on the skin and the viewer now shows all areas with the skin color and makes everything else gray. Go to the qualifier palette, click the pick add button. In the viewer, click on other parts of her body to add other colors to the selection. I think this is good for now, we have her body isolated from the background, even though there are still noises in the background. We can go to the matte finesse section and adjust the parameters. In this case, I just need to increase the clean black and clean white values, and the result is really good. You can always play around with all these parameters in the qualifier palette as needed to get the result you like. Now we can turn off the highlight mode, right away we see the image with the graffiti underneath. If we check the clip frame by frame, the result is very good and convincing. Go back to the edit page and play the timeline, we now have the graffiti text on the wall and behind our moving object. Please note that the techniques we use today will not work for all scenarios, but it's always a good idea to give them a try before you start rotoscoping. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.